Hello students. Today let's learn about rounding off to the nearest tens, hundreds and thousands. Dear students, first we solve rounding off to the nearest ten. Number is 1625. When we rounding off to the nearest ten, look at place of ones. If digit 4, 3, 2 and 1, then there is no change in digit at tens place. If digit 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, add a unit in digit at tens place. Number is 1625 digit 5 at ones place and we put zero for ones place here at ones place digit five so add a unit in digit at tens place now it become three number one thousand six hundred twenty five can be rounded off 1630. Now we do rounding of number 1625 to the nearest hundreds. For rounding of number to the nearest hundreds, look at place of tens. If digit 4, 3, 2, 1, no change in digit at hundreds place. If digit 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 at tens place, add a unit in digit at hundreds place. Number is 1625. Here digit 2 at tens place. So now Put 0 for 1's place and 10's place. Students, digit 2 at 10's place. So, no change in digit at 100 place. So, 1625 can be rounded off 1600. Now, we solve Rounding of to the nearest thousand. Number is 1625. When we do round of number to the nearest thousand, look at place of hundred. If digit 4, 3, 2, 1 at hundred place, no change in digit at thousand place. If digit 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 at 100 place, add a unit and digit at 1000 place. Students, number is 1625 at 100 place, digit 6. Now, put 0 for 1's place. Put 0 for 10's place. Put 0 for 100 place. Students, digit 6 at 100 place. So add a unit in digit at 1000 place. And digit is 2. Number is 1625. Can be rounded off. 2000. Students, if you want to round off tens, put right a zero. See once digit. If 5 to 9, add a unit to tens with arrow. And number is 1630. If you want to round off 100, put right Two zeros. 
C. Tenth digit. 5 to 9. Add a unit. 200 with arrows. Number become 1600. If you want to round off 1000, put 3 zeros to the right. Look at 100's digit. If it is 5 to 9, add a unit to 1000 to shine. And number becomes 2000. Students, write fifth statement on your notebook and solve part A like this. Students, remaining parts from statement fifth, do yourself on your notebook. Thank you.